بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, the next thing will move on with the named ACLs, named access list. So when I'm saying named access list means, again, we will be having a standard ACL here. Of course, in, in named ACL also we have standard, numbered also we have standard. Now, now the difference as we discussed in the initial, if you are writing the rules or the ACs, access control entries, are grouped together, and if they're identified with some number, then we call it as a numbered ACL or the same rules we can group together and we can identify them with a name and we call them as named ACLs. Now the basic difference between the name and the number is we are just using the names instead of using the numbers. The rest of the features remains the same, which means the way the standard ACL works, it's the same thing in either a number or named, which means again, we, are, we don't need to again uh, come up with a new ACL basically. So the same thing. And similar way, when we are using extended ACLs, uh, it is the same, uh, the working principle, the rules, the, everything remains the same in the named ACL as well. Of course, the way you write the command will differ slightly, but the working principle, the way they work, the direction, everything remains the same. So there's, there, it's not going to be any change uh, here, ex except we use the names instead of numbers. Okay, so we'll be using the names instead of uh, instead of using the numbers, and this makes easier for you to identify the ACLs. Like, let's say if I'm writing a specific rules, and these rules are specific to like say router one, and deny services something like this. So if I'm giving some name, uh, something like this, then it, this will give some meaningful you know uh, identification while we are verifying. So if I'm just using a number. 100, 101, 102, then it's it's very difficult to figure out which ACL is doing what job unless you verify each and every line. But if I'm giving some name that will give, like meaningful name will always give a good idea that this ACL, okay, I implemented this ACL for this purpose or for this reason, we can use those names or maybe that is, that is the main reason, okay? We prefer named ACLs. And again, these names are case sensitive. Again, if I'm using the name as CCNA, again, if I'm writing a CCNA in capital letters, and if I'm creating another ACL in small letters, then basically these two will become different ACLs. So make sure that whatever the ACL you are creating, it is case sensitive, small letters or capital letters, they matter, so you use the same. And the good thing is there's no limitation here. Of course, 1 to 99 is still a big number. We don't write that many ACLs on one single router normally. But in the name, we can write any number of ACLs on, on one single router. And one of the major benefit we prefer to use the name ACL is editing. So we can selectively remove a specific statements from the ACL that is possible. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you this more detail with the configuration examples in the next slides. But if I'm using the numbered ACL, in the numbered ACL, editing is not possible, okay? So let's see how to do the editing. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and verify. Okay, the next thing we'll try to see the issues with the numbered ACL, editing issues. Like if, if I go and verify show IP access list, you can just simply go to any one of the router like according to my previous configurations, or I can just simply go to one of the router and create some ACLs just for verification. Anyway, I'm not going to apply them and verify here. Let me see if there is any ACL. Yeah, there is. there are some ACLs here. So probably if I want to remove this ACL, okay, so let's say if I go and check the ACL show run, whether it is a standard or extended ACL, here you can see there are three statements. And let's say I want to remove this one line. Maybe I mistakenly, you know, wrote a specific uh, wrong configuration. Maybe the source address is different. Or maybe in the future you have a requirement you need to remove this uh, statement. Now, now, now the requirement is like you want to allow the web traffic now. So which means I want to remove this. So which means you might be thinking that, okay, if I want to remove this one line, so I can simply go and copy paste. Of course, but before that, I'll just try to use them in the notepad. Okay, so I'll try to copy this one line and 
I can say simply no and paste this line. So you might be expecting that that one line being removed. But actually, what happens is is that removed? Okay, just a minute. Let me check here. Show run. Let me copy this line here. So no. So actually, the no command was missed. It comes in the next line. So I'm saying no here. So when I say no access list, so if I go and verify now, show IP access list, you can see the entire ACL is removed. And if you verify with show run, this is a problem here. Can you see any ACL here? No. So basically the main issue with the numbered ACL is editing is one of the major problem. So which means if you want to add or remove any specific lines, like I said, you cannot remove the selected lines. And just now I try to remove one selected line, even though I'm saying no and copy paste one single line, it is going to automatically remove the complete line. Sorry, complete ACL. The complete ACL will be removed. Okay, so, so to so simply delete uh, one single line from the ACL, it is going to delete the entire ACL, which means you have to reconfigure everything. So simply what you have to do is you have to say, you have to copy this in the notepad, and then you let's say you want to add a new line, you need to add a new line in the notepad or rearrange the rules. Let's say I want to say permit or deny something. I'm just writing a rough rules. Between the host 10.1.1.1 going to let's say 2111. So I just wanted to deny all the TCP traffic. Let's say equal to telnet, something like this. I have to edit them in the notepad and then again I have to go to router 2. Okay, whatever the router it is. And again I have to copy paste these lines. So this is how you would need to do editing if you if you are using numbered ACLs. So and the same thing is applies for standard or extended. Okay, so I'm, I'm not talking specifically only standard or extended. And on the slides here, you can see I have given an example of standard ACL. And of course, here I have shown you the extended ACL. So it's, it's the same rule applies for both. Okay, so typically this is one of the issue. And one more problem is whenever you want to add a new line, let's say this is my ACL statement, which is already pre-configured in my company network. And I want to add one extra additional line in between because we know the ACL works in a sequential order. We discussed that and it uses the first match logic, which means if the first match statement matches, it will never check the next statements. So if I'm trying to add a new ACL statement, let's say the ACL statement is 122 and I want to deny one single a specific host let's say 2111 uh, going to any destination equal to let's say 21 whatever it is i'm just writing a rough rule host deny i have to specify the protocol okay done so if you verify this when i'm adding any new statement automatically it adds in the last but is this going to work because normally if the traffic is coming from source 2111 and if it is going to any destination, if it is equal to FTP, so it's going to use the first match logic, which means this statement will match the fourth line. And the fourth line says permit IP any any. And this traffic is by default permitted because of the ACL statement, whatever you're adding, it comes in the last. And you don't want this in the last, which means again, what is the method you need to use? Same copy and then paste here and then uh, remove these lines, edit. So I'm just showing you, okay? Because in case if your company network is already running these ACLs, then you don't want to remove it, then this is the way. So remove the ACL and copy paste this back again. Okay, so this is how you have to do. So every time doing like this, it's, it's not an easy job, right? So that's, that's one more issue. So these are some of the, basically the problems with the numbered ACL, if I'm using the old syntax again, because in the next slides, I'm, I'm going to show you the new syntax, which means now in the new iOS versions, if I'm using the new syntax, 
new syntax means the new way to configure which is similar to writing the named ACLs in this new syntax we can do editing so basically that is possible in that option okay so all the iOS versions supports this older older way to do but again when you are getting used probably I recommend you to go with the new method or the new syntax okay so these are some of the issues with numbered ACLs where we cannot remove a specific line editing is not really possible and if you want to do editing you have to take your notepad and the same way I showed you here and whenever you are adding any new statement it is going to be added in the last okay and this will apply for both standard as well as the extended ACLs